Hey guys, Radio Garage back on the bench. Today we got a Galaxy DX66V sent in. Got the note here from the owner. Um, he, let's see, opened up the radio, found some screws were stripped out. Um, inside he said there was a, a black long threaded piece. I'm guessing he's talking about um, one of the slug. Um, one of the slugs for the for the uh, inductor coils uh, rolling around. He put that back uh, center. Let's see. He saw where it went. He put it back center, back of radio. Went ahead, so it's not rolling around. Um, then he said, if you could make a video on the radio before and after that would be great so yeah, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to do a before and after video for you uh, I haven't done a video in a while so it should work out for everybody um, I did notice when I took it out of the box there's there's still something rattling around I don't know if you guys could hear that so um, I'm guessing that slug must have came back out but uh, before I go opening the case I am going to put power to it um, and turn down my current here. This way, if anything goes haywire, that'll trip. Okay. All right, let's power it on. Let's see what we got going on. All right, where's our display? Okay, I think there's a switch on here, I'm not seeing, dimmer, here we go, must be the dimmer, and there we go, alright, that's better, so let's just put it on channel 20, AM, uh, do do do, Welch open. Oh, that's noisy. Yeah, we got oh we got dust coming out of it. Got a dust bunny coming out at me. Um, turn our mic gain all the way up. We'll leave the echo off for now. Showing two KC high um, right now, but it's cold, so I just turned it on. All right, let's see what this thing's doing. We will uh, hook our antenna dummy load. All right, put it on the dummy load. We'll get our switch box. Get that in there. Okay. And let me move this camera around. Guys, I'm using the new camera mount. I got a I got a brand new camera mount here, so let me know what you guys think. Um, I won't be moving the, holding the camera with one hand and making people sick and whatnot. But uh, let me see if I could just bear with me for this first video here, because I got to try to flip the screen around now. I'm going to show you. I'll try to get everything in here. I don't know if I'm going to, but I want to show you the scope when I key it up. All right, and I'm going to key it. Looks like we have a carrier. Oh, I gotta put my I gotta put my current up. Alright. Yeah, we got a good carrier. Let's turn that down actually. Okay. About two divisions. And now let's put some modulation. Yeah, that's really bad. Yeah, she looks clipped. Um, so there's your before. You could hear it coming through on the monitor radio, and that's on 19 up there. So <laughs> they give you an idea of how bad it's bleeding over. Well, I was going to try to show. Let me see if I unplug this. If I could show you that monitor radio. Yeah, see that's on 19. I'll bring this back down. Um, See if I can show you guys what it's doing on the bird meter. 
I might we might have some backward swing on this 50 watt slug center scale let's see what it's doing I have the peak kit off I'm gonna key it up here's the key and now let's put modulation into it see if it goes backwards now it goes forward okay so we got forward modulation surprisingly um, but yeah it's totally it's totally flat topped and, and pinched on the scope um, if you want I could show you quick what it's doing on the spectrum analyzer if I could get there we go get this over here and that finally broke down and got the uh, the camera mount guys so I think it's going to work out pretty good. Appreciate everybody watching, so I'm going to try to do what I can to uh, make the experience as painless as possible for everybody. Alright, so you can see that. Got the radio hooked up to the spectrum analyzer. Spectrum analyzer has a built in dummy load. Alright. And we'll go over to our settings. We'll put our center 27205. We'll put our span. We'll just say uh, uh, let's just say five five megahertz. Now you know what? Let's do thirty. Let's do thirty megahertz. All right. And I'm gonna key it up. See what we got. Oh yeah, we got some bumps. We got, we definitely got some spurs down there. Uh, let's go to 55. We'll see that second harmonic. Yeah, we got a big. If you guys, how, how well you guys could see that? We got a big spur there. That's yeah, that's above the zero line, so we gotta definitely get rid of that one. We got one here, we got one there, we got our second, so um, and then I'll show you show you what it's doing as far as splatter um, when I take the span down to say a hundred kilohertz. And I'll put my um, tone into it. Here we go. Oh, I don't have it. There we go. Woo! Look at that. Yowzers, yowzers, right across. Um, it does trail on I me. Mean, you're, you're below zero just at the very edges. You're, well, actually not over on this side. Yeah, she's splattering hard. Yeah, she's splattering real hard. So that's uh, that's definitely gonna get cleaned up. I'll do an after on that 100k span when we're done. We got to five. Whoops. We got to 500. 500 kilohertz. And put the tone into it. Yeah. No good. All right. That's that. Um, so there's your before. I'm going to open it up and um, we'll see what's going on in there. Actually, you know what? I could probably, probably open it up. This is going to be a long video, guys. Bear with me. I'll open it up on camera here. Get my screwdriver. I don't have anything fancy. I don't have a powered, a powered screwdriver, so just give me a second. I am going to turn it off though. Power it off. Get that out of there. Um, yeah, it looks like you got a bunch of different. Yeah, this one's a black screw. I'm going to give you all new case screws, Joe. Okay. I'm going to give you all new case screws in this baby. We'll get her. She's actually in pretty good shape, it looks like. Oh, yeah, you're missing your screws back here. Oh, I'm onto the screen. 
not used to doing it on the stand here. Alright, so you're missing your screws there. We'll get them uh, replaced. This looks tight at least. Everything looks good back there. This must be the single final because it doesn't have the heat sink on the back. Okay, you're missing a screw here. Um, you guys could see that. Missing a screw. I'll give you the screw there. But like I said, I'm going to replace all the screws. Let me just get this out and I'm going to show you guys the inside and we'll see why that thing's splattering so bad. Probably, uh, who wants to take a guess? Well, my, my money's going to be on TR32 missing, but we'll see. Okay. Just going to unplug the speaker. Put that on the side. Uh, okay, here we go. Yep, TR32. I can't see. Let's see. If you guys could see that. TR32 is missing. Um, what else? Oh, here's the... Here's the... Getting too much light in here now and it's kind of hard to see. There, that's better without the flashlight. Now I gotta work around the echo board. There it is. I can almost see it. There we go. Right there. Got a swing mod there. This is, you got a, uh, a diode with a resistor. Golly, I'm having a hard time. With this new, getting this new setup, getting uh, situated here, I'll figure it out, guys. Um, yeah, what else? So yeah, that's probably. I mean, I'm gonna go through it more, obviously, but just real quick, looking at it, got to get uh, TR32 back in. We got to get rid of that swing mod. Absolutely no need for that swing mod in a radio like this. Um. Yeah, what's it have? A 1969 final. Let's see what we have. Something rolling around. I don't know where that piece that was rolling around went. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So it was a slug core. So that'll go back in. That'll go back in there. Alright. So... Next time you see it, uh, it'll probably be done unless I find something interesting um, while I'm doing this here, but otherwise I'll continue with the um, finished results. Alright, so uh, a few days has gone by now. I had to get a new meter for the radio, so that finally came in. Um, here's the old meter taking that out right now okay here's the new one and uh, if you can see actually you can't even see that the, the uh, 20 40 and 60 DB it's all sun faded out so yeah this new meter is gonna look real nice um, so we're gonna get that put in and uh, we should be uh, good to go finish this alignment up and get you your radio back. So I'm going to get this popped in and we'll go from there. Alright, Joe just got done with the receive alignment on this 66. Alright, you can see here we got our cable going up into our RF generator. And we are on, if you can see here, Okay, channel 20, which I got to adjust your counter, um, and then I'll zoom in, and I'll show you where we are at Synad, okay, so you see that left column, um, bottom, very bottom left column, 11 and change, jumping to 12 there a little bit, um, and then we are at... Um, 27205, 30% modulation, and negative 111 on the uh, D 
DBM. So, really, really nice receive. Receive came out great. All right, we'll be back. Okay, just wanted to show you the radio is fixed. Um, TR32 right here is in place. There is the swing mod is reversed. Um, I replaced your um, your one transistor over here. Um, it's part of the modulation chain that goes through your uh, your main modulation transistor um, voltage regulator. Um, it's different names for it, but uh, got that replaced for you. Got your power wire upgraded. Um, with a nice choke and got that slug replaced put some wax around it hold it in there for you um, got everything aligned and tuned where it needed to be um, everything came out nice uh, we got our frequency counter lined up um, so I'm just going to put the case on this and going to uh, throw the screws in it and then we're going to do the DND uh, results. Alright, here's the results. She's all done. Um, I am going to do the um, audio test over the air um, with two different mics. I'm going to use the regular uh, stock, my unit and bear cap mic and then I'm going to use the uh, Telex Turner Road King 56 um, noise canceling mic just to show you the difference um, because I think you are going to be running um, an RK56 for some reason I want to say so I want to show you that it does tame down the audio quite a bit because um, I did do the talkback uh, modification because you could barely hear your talkback it was basically non-existent on this thing so I went in there um, and I upped the volume on the talkback but it may seem a little loud with the stock mic, but once you put the noise canceling mic on, uh, the talk back's perfect. So let's just run through some uh, tests here with the um, watt meter. Show you quick. So we have a 25 watt slug today. Maybe you can see that. And we'll zoom in here. Get this out of the way. Okay. So, we can get this to steady. We got the peak kit engaged. And there's the, do the carrier first. Um, all the way down, you're down to just about nothing. Uh, about a, well, about a watt. And then it'll come up, and you got about seven, seven and a half um, watts on that. So we'll leave this, yeah, we'll leave it about just under five or so. And then we'll put our voice into it. One, two, three, four, five, four, 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 five. So she's just about going right in the corner there. One, two, three, four, five, 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 five. So yeah, she's doing 25 watts. All right, and let me show you what it sounds like over the air quick, just to show you what I was talking about. So channel 20, um, I gotta put my monitor, yeah, my monitor's on 19, so let me put it on 19. Here's the monitor up there. Let you hear that. One, two, three, four, five. Audio, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's with the stock mic. And now I'm going to show you the talk back um, with the stock mic. So, talk back on is with the echo. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then take that off and put the Road King 56 on, show you the difference that it is tamed down, Road King 56. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and turn the talk back off. And now we'll just listen to it through the monitor. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, the, the noise canceling mic tames it down quite a bit. So that, that'll be up to you how you want to run it um, with the noise canceling mic or not. So, all right, uh, got the stock mic back on. I'm going to show you the spectrum analyzer quick. Um, if you guys remember, I did the 1K. I did the 1K spread before to show you how it was splattering. Uh, I got it set up right now for 1K. And let me uh, actually have to hook up my switch box. Okay. So here's our. Oh. Spectrum analyzer cable, and it's still into the dummy load. So now we are I'll show you here. Now we're directly. Here's our cable. Goes into there. All right. Move this again. And here's our 1K. We're gonna put on channel 20. Channel 20 and. Here's what our output, and you guys could see how narrow that is. If you remember, it went like this, right out to the sides. Um, if you look down here, this is negative 30. Okay, so yeah, we're down quite a quite a bit before it even starts to open up. So there's that. Turn that off. Kill the carrier. Um, and then I'm just going to open up this band here, do 30 megahertz. Okay, there's our bumps are gone. Got a little bit right here, just a tiny, tiny bit. Can't get rid of all of it, but we're negative 10 down, so. And then, of course, when I kick it off, uh, okay, and then we're just going to go to 60, show the second. And... There's your second, really nothing in between. I don't know if you guys remember, if you go back to the video, um, we had quite a bit, you know, a little bit larger spur right here in between the, the fundamental and the second. So, really, really clean. Very nice uh, for a galaxy. So, that is, I believe, it, guys. Um, showed you the receive before when I was got done doing it. So, Joe, um, this is all done. Oh, you know what, too? I did your, uh, let me get that unplugged. I did your, your meter light, so. It doesn't come out. It, it looks a lot, lot better in person. For some reason, these LEDs on, on camera uh, just are horrendous. But, yeah, she's all done. All right, thank you, everybody. There's the uh, radio garage, gmail.com, and we are off the key.